What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we are just going to be doing a laid back beauty favorites video. It has been so long since I've done one of these and I have so many new favorites across like all different areas. I have a lot of makeup stuff, but I also have some hair stuff, some body stuff, like drugstore, high end, like all products that I have been trying recently that have just made it into like my everyday routine that are so stinking good. And it's so interesting because doing YouTube, a lot of times, a lot of my videos focus on like testing new products, but then it's like those staple products that I use every single day in my routine get like glossed over. Like you'll maybe see them once when they're new, but I want to be better about following up later and being like, hey, these are the ones that I have been loving that I've been using every single day. As always, I'll link everything right down below in the description box if you guys want to check there and just check out links to all the products. But make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you be notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, I feel like I don't even know where to start because I have a lot of stuff. I'm just going to grab and we're just going to talk. So first one is this makeup by Mario. This is the technical name is the Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Shaping Serum. It's basically a liquid bronzer, bronzing drop, if you will, which we've seen 7,000 brands come out with something like this. The Makeup by Mario one was a little bit different because it has this pump top, but then it also does have an applicator like this. I've never used the applicator like this. I just use the pump top because I basically use this as like a tinted moisturizer almost, or just like a tinted bronzing serum. And it is so, so beautiful. I use it in shade light medium. There are a couple different shade options in this and it is stunning. It takes five seconds to apply because it blends out really easily. You can literally use your fingers. I use this big Kabuki brush, which this is another favorite of mine that we're gonna talk about. But this is what I use to blend it out and it literally takes two seconds. It gives a bronzy glow like you just left the beach. And it's so, so good. So I really love this. Let's talk about the brush while we were, you know, just mentioning it. So this is from Tarte. This has been around forever. This is called like their buffer brush. I'll link it down below. You can get it on their website. I don't know if you can get it like in store at like Ulta or Sephora. You may be able to. If you get it on their website, you can use code Kelly, which will give you 15% off of your entire order, like everything on their website. But this brush is so good. And I was a dead dedicated sponge girly for my foundation and like most liquid products for literally the past, I don't even know, like since the beauty blender has come out, I've always used a sponge and I still use it sometimes, but I have been using this brush to run out like my foundation, liquid bronze products like this, like basically an all over face product. This is so good to blend because it takes five seconds because it's so big and it just buffs and blends everything out so flawlessly. And you're gonna get a lot better coverage with this as you would with a sponge because sponges do dilute the product a little bit and tend to give a little bit of a lighter coverage than a brush would. So I love this guy. Really, really good. Okay. Now I do have some foundations that I want to talk about, but let's talk lippies for a second. Okay. These have been my obsession. So y'all know if you've watched me for a while, I love this Peri Peri Ink the Velvet lip stain, specifically in the shade Rosy Nude. This is like a matte lip stain. I have loved this for years and years. I'll swatch it to show you guys. Straight matte, no gloss, no nothing. But these are the Peri Peri Ink Mood Glowy Tints. And they're basically just like the perfect glossy tint. And they help to just enhance enhance your natural lip color and texture. Peri Peri is one of the best selling cosmetics brands in Korea. One of them is sold every 10 seconds globally, which is crazy. So I have three different shades here that I really like. My personal favorite is 03 Rose in Mind. I'll put it on here so you guys can see me applying it to the lips to get the true color. It's a fig like rose color, really, really pretty. And it's like the perfect blend of warm and cool tone. So it could work on pretty much any skin tone, which is why I really, really like that. 03 Rose in Mind is their best selling color. I do also really like shade 05 if I want something a little bit bolder. This one's really nice as well. Well, but no matter which shade you go with, they're basically glossy, moisturizing, and plumping. Without feeling sticky at all, they're infused with lily and witch hazel. And they're multifunctional because you can also use them on your cheeks if you want, or of course your lips. And if you want to make these super long lasting, basically what you want to do is go in and coat your lips, let it dry, then use a tissue and blot off the excess on the tissue and then go in with a second layer. And although they have a glossy finish, they'll last a really long time if you follow that step by step. So been loving these. I will link them down below. You can find them on Amazon. I want to thank them so much for partnering with me to let you know that they are having their biggest sale of the year and that is running right now. So be sure to check them out. I will link them down below in the description box and shop them before they sell out. Okay, up next, let's chat about some foundations. Now, the first one that I wanna talk about was such an unlikely favorite for me. This is the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. I shouldn't say unlikely because there's definitely been Urban Decay foundations that I've really liked in the past. But this foundation, when you read the claims, definitely seems like something that would be like an oily skin girl's dream and maybe not something that would work for somebody that has dry skin like myself, but this has literally quickly become one of my favorite foundations. It is so 
flawless. When I want my makeup to last all day long and also be like a fuller coverage, I would say this is more medium coverage depending on how much you use of it. You can definitely build it up to be a full coverage, but if you only use like a small amount of it, it's more of a medium coverage on its own, but it just looks so flawless on the skin. It is a waterproof foundation. It is super long lasting. It's matte. So you're not gonna have any shine, any glow, any luminosity from this. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna feel like moisturizing on your skin because it will not. But for me, if I properly moisturize and use a hydrating primer, this foundation looks flawless on my skin all day long. I really, really like it. And a lot of times foundations that are like supposed to be super matte and really long lasting just don't work for dry skin. But this one is incredible. So even if you have dry skin, try this out. If you want something that's really gonna look good, like I have a lot of redness in my skin, would also be really good if you have like hyperpigmentation or acne scarring or something that you really wanna cover up that's not gonna budge throughout the day. This is literally like the best. I can't say enough good things about it. I typically use shade light, medium, cool, but also really, really good product is this tier tier foundation. So this one is for my girlies that want something that's gonna give a little bit of a glow to the skin, something that's gonna feel a little bit more hydrating. This is like the viral cushion foundation that's been going around. They have this on Amazon, but it is really, really good. This similar to the Urban Decay one is a very full coverage. Will literally cover up like anything you have going on in your skin and give you a very flawless finish. But it definitely has like a more moisturizing, hydrating aspect to it and is more of like a natural finish where the Urban Decay one is just like a straight matte. So I mean, they're both flawless. You literally can't go wrong with either of these just kind of depending on the day. Do I want something more matte? Do I want something more hydrating? Will depend on which one I go with, but I really, really like the Tear Tear Cushion Foundation as well. The only thing I always tell people with this is go a shade lighter than you think that you would be because as it dries, it is gonna get darker. When you first put it on, it's gonna look like it might be too light, but as it sets and dries, it does get darker. So, but really, really good as well. Okay, let's jump to some drugstore faves. The Tear Tear Foundation is kind of like in between. I feel like high end and drugstore, it's about $20. They have sales on it a lot. So I've seen it like as low as I wanna say like 17, as high as like maybe 25. So it's kind of like in between high end and drugstore. These are like true drugstore price point, which we love. And these have been so good. So they're the NYX Butter Melts. I originally got my hands on the bronzer and honestly didn't think I was gonna like love this. I was like, okay, why is everybody hyping up a bronzer so much? Like how could it be so good? And now I've used it like every single day. It really is good. It blends like butter. I mean, they're called the Butter Melt Bronzers and that's the correct name, honestly. They blend really easily, but they're very pigmented. And I have this in shade Butter Biscuit. And what I like is it's a very warm tone bronzer where a lot of my other bronzers are much more cool tone, but this warm tone just makes you look like you just left the beach. Like it's so summery and bronzy and just so pretty. So I love this. So I got my hands on this originally, really liked it, and then decided to try the buttermelt blushes. I have these two on my cheeks today. I did like a little sunset blush kind of look where I used both of them. This is Had Butter, which is like a corally kind of orange shade. And then this one is Butter with Time, if I can open it, there we go. Which is like a darker pink shade, honestly. Probably some of the most pigmented blushes I've ever used ever. Um, and they blend really well though, which is nice because they're super pigmented. So like you need to be able to actually blend these things and they really work well. Like I feel like I have a very bold blush look on. Like it looks like I'm wearing a ton of blush and I'm telling you literally was like, one little dunk and th that's how much pigment you get. So really, really pigmented, but really nice. I feel like if you get even one of these, it's gonna last you forever because you only need the smallest amount. So really, really like these two. These are a much newer favorite. The bronzer I've used like since this came out for a couple months now and really, really good. So wanted to mention those. Another kind of bronze product, I've talked about this so many times in the past, but I feel like I just need to talk about it again because I still love it so much and y'all need to experience it if you haven't already. But these are the ColourPop bronze sticks. They are so stinking good. The shade that I use is Moonstone Beach. I use this to contour and chisel out the face. I always use it on like Instagram reels and like TikTok and stuff. And people are like, what is that? And I'm like, girl, it's ColourPop. Like this is honestly the best bronze stick. Cream sort of bronzer. It just works so well, blends so easily, pigmented, lasts all day. Like it's just the best. So I use this all year round, but if you only are like a person that kind of uses bronzer in the summer, Check this out. But really easy to sculpt the face out and like contour with this too. And just a 10 out of 10 product and it's really affordable. You can get this obviously on ColourPop's website, which you can use code Kelly for 10% off of your entire order if you do an order on ColourPop's website. But I do think they have these in store at Ulta and Target, if I'm not mistaken. So either way, really, really good. Okay, primer that I wanted to mention is this is from Peter Thomas Roth, which typically when I think of Peter Thomas Roth, I think of skincare, not makeup, but they have this primer. This is the Instant Firm Glow Filter Priming Serum and I 
love this. It gives a little bit of a sheer tint to the skin. It is like tinted, if you can see like the color. It's like a little bit of a bronzy sort of glowy tint. And it gives a really beautiful glow to the skin, but also helps to really just smooth out the skin and make it kind of flawless before you go in with like a foundation on top. And just give you a nice canvas to work off of. It's very radiant and like blurring and hydrating to the skin. So I've really, really been loving this. It just has like a little squeezy top and it's been a really great primer. I went through like a stage with primers where I was like, I hate every single primer that I'm using. Like I need to find like a really good one. And then I found this one and I'm like, have been nonstop using it. So really, really like that. Okay, one more makeup product and then we're gonna get into some hair and body favorites that we have too. So these are also really, really affordable. These are the hard candy, what are these called? Insta Pout Lip Liner. So I have the shade Boyfriend right here. This is the lip liner that I have on today. It's like a darker kind of brown color, but they're basically just like a retractable lip liner, but they're super, super pigmented, very creamy and blendable. And what I love is on the other side, there's a little brush. And because these are so creamy and blendable, you can basically line your lips with them. And then you can go in with the brush and like blend it out and kind of do like a very gradient lip if you want to do that. I didn't really do that today. I just kind of use it as a regular liner, but there's a lot that you can do with these and they have so many good colors, pretty much any color that you would want. And they're like four or $5 at Walmart and last all day. So absolutely love these, so good. Okay, let's jump into some hair stuff or let's do the body product first and then we'll end with some hair phase. So, so self tanner, um, I feel like I've tried 7 billion self tanners. Um, and I've really been liking the Bondi Sands. This is the Technicolor line. It's a newer release from them. I wanna say it came out like within the past year. It's basically a self tanner that has different undertones. So I do like the orange one if I want something a little bit lighter, but this one from Magenta gives a deeper tan, but it still looks very natural. I have this on my skin right now, and this is like five days old, which that's the biggest thing that I really like about this product is that it works in one hour. It's a one hour express. I will normally try and leave it on for like two to three hours. Then I'll shower it off, but it's not one that you have to leave on for like six or eight hours and you have to sleep in and get your sheets all messy. It's so much easier to just do the shorter ones, but a lot of the express tanners that I've tried in the past fade super patchy. They don't really give you too much color and then they fade just like really patchy in like three or four days. And I'm like, all right, I'd rather just use like the six or eight hour ones that actually work. Where these are by far the best express ones that I've ever tried. I do use a moisturizer every single night on my skin, which will help any self tanner fade better on your skin. But with this, this is the best one that I've ever tried, honestly. It fades super evenly. You're not ever gonna look insanely patchy like I have absolutely looked <laughs> many times in the past from other self tanners. So really, really like this line from Bondi Sands. It's really good. And depending on what undertone you go for would be which one I would recommend to you. But the purple is really good. The orange is really good. I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. Okay, let's talk hair now. I have three products. Um, okay, first one that I wanna talk about is this Not Your Mother's Volumizing Plump for Joy Mousse. So I started using this when I get out of the shower, my hair is damp, I will apply this. After I do whatever like leave-in treatments or heat protectants that I'm applying to my hair, it's basically just like a mousse product that helps with volume. And I just squirt it on my hand, it looks like you know whipped cream basically would, and I just put it from roots to end. And then you go through and blow dry your hair. And what I've noticed is not only does this give me a ton of volume, but when I curl my hair, it also helps my hair hold a curl a lot better. I have a very fine hair texture. So sometimes curls or styles will fall out a lot easier on that where this actually really helps them to hold better plus it gives a lot of volume to the hair without like weighing it down or making it look greasy or anything like that so I've really been liking this and you can get this at like Target Walmart um, I want to say it's like under 10 bucks not super expensive and isn't gonna make your hair like crunchy or anything but will definitely amp up that volume and hold another very random favorite I literally just came across this in Target it was on like an end cap and I liked like the black and pink and I was like oh that's cute I needed a dry shampoo so I grabbed it never heard of this brand in my life it's called Collab, I guess? Collab? <laughs> but it's their dry shampoo extreme volume and it does do what it says. It gives a lot of volume to the hair and it's a good dry shampoo. And it was also super affordable. So if you're looking for a new dry shampoo that's gonna give you a lot of volume that isn't gonna break the bank, I really like this one. And then last but certainly not least, okay. This stuff, I really like, when I first tried it, I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I smelt it and I was like, oh. And now I'm obsessed with it and can't stop using it. So this is from Pacifica. This is their Big Wave Soft Hold and Volume Hairspray. So the reason why I was like concerned about this at first, I didn't read that it says down here non-aerosol because it looks like it would be an aerosol like how this can is but when it comes out it's actually very like wet the product itself which is interesting like it almost is like a mist which I wasn't expecting for hairspray so I was like oh I don't know about this but then I smelt the product and it, it says on here coconut sea salt and vanilla but that does not do it justice this literally smells like the sweetest most delicious perfume like every time I wear this 
Steven is like, oh, I love what perfume you have on today. And I'm like, I literally don't have a perfume on. It's the hair product. Um, but it smells so divine, like a summertime dream. I don't know how else to describe it. And it actually is a really nice hairspray. Once you get over that initial, oh, this kind of feels weird because it's like wet. And it's not gonna make your hair wet or anything like that. It just kind of feels different than normal hairspray. I don't know how else to describe it, but it helps to hold your style in place and give volume without making your hair sticky, crunchy, or anything like that. Like your hair is still gonna have movement. So it's definitely a lighter hold hairspray. But if you want something that's gonna help to hold your style in place while still letting your hair move and look natural, I really think that you will like this. And the smell is just 20 out of 10. I would spray this on my body if I could, honestly. It's it's really, really nice. So that is my last favorite. I will link everything down below in the description box if you are still here chatting with me. Um, thanks for hanging out. But yeah, all the links will be down below. Thank you guys so much. Comment down below what your beauty favorites have been recently. Like, is there something that you've been loving? I would love to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.